Tectonic Shift Shaping the Future with Innovation Hey there, welcome to Tectonic Shift. Today, I am going to walk you through the process of cloning an Azure repo using Visual Studio Code. And the best part is, you won't need to touch any command line interface. But before we get started, make sure you have Git installed on your system. If you don't have it yet, no worries. You can easily install it by visiting the official website of Git. Now, let's move over to your Azure project. Once you are in your project, navigate to the repos section. On the right hand side of the repos, you will find an option called clone. Click on it. This will, op this will open up the clone repository window. Inside this window, you will see an option to clone in VS Code. Go ahead and select that option. A pop-up window will appear on your screen. In this window, click on Open. This will automatically open Visual Studio Code and initiate the cloning process for your Azure repo. Next, click on Open again. Now you need to choose the folder where you want to clone your Azure repo. You have the freedom to select any folder of your choice. Once you have chosen the folder, click on Select as Depository Destination. Now, here is an important step. For the first time, Git Credential Manager will be launched. This is where you will need to log into your Azure account by providing your email address and password. This will ensure that you have the necessary credentials to access Azure Repo. Now enter password. and click sign in. Once the cloning process is complete, a message will pop up in Visual Studio Code asking if you would like to open the clone repository. This is your moment to rejoice. Click on open to launch the cloned repository in Visual Studio Code. Congratulations, you have successfully cloned your first repo using Visual Studio Code without the need for any command line interface. Now you are all ready to explore and work with your repository using the powerful features of Visual Studio Code. Now there is one final step remaining before you can start using your cloned repository in Visual Studio Code. You need to provide a username and email address within VS Code and use the terminal. To launch the terminal, simply click on Terminal in the top bar of Visual Studio Code and then select New Terminal. Now, in the terminal, add the following command, which is git config global username. Replace your username with the username that you want to use. Next, after hit enter, now add another command, which is git config user email and add your email address instead of the email address that I am typing. Once added, hit enter. Hooray! You have successfully cloned the repository. Now you can you are all set to utilize your cloned repository with Visual Studio Code. Enjoy the seamless integration and productivity it offers. If you found the video helpful, please consider liking and subscribing to our channel. We greatly appreciate your support. Thank you for watching Tectonic Shift.